The next instrument I use the CA-2A on is a piano track. You can see it has the same kind of hits as the bass right here, right here, right here, right here, and then pretty much it's the main motif of the entire song. So I sent the two piano tracks to a bus and put the CA-2A on there. Let's take a listen to it. It's sitting off to the right in your stereo mix. So let's listen to it without the CA-2A. Okay, so I'm going to solo this up and I'm going to show you what it sounds like isolated without the CA-2A. Sounds pretty flat. I have the makeup gain set a little bit louder just so that I can increase the volume of this. The R37 knob is set to 82%, so I'm attenuating some high frequencies. By reducing some of these higher frequencies, we're actually boosting some of the lower frequencies to have them come across more. It's kind of an opposite way of thinking about it. Then we have some moderate peak reduction right in here. So what it's doing is slamming these opening tracks right here, just like on the bass, so that these are more emphasized. Like I said before, we don't have a lot of peak reduction going on here, but what we are doing is we're emphasizing these hits. So let's turn it on and listen. That's with it off. And that's with it on. So we're doing a lot here. Off. So it's warming up the sound and it's giving it a little bit more emphasis in the low end on these hits right here. And that's what we really want to do with this.